It's been exceptionally rainy on the mountain. It's like rain, hail, rain, a little bit of sunshine, lots of cloudiness, never enough sun to charge anything with solar, but it's been kind of nice. This is sleepy girl weather. I am a sleepy girl. Good morning. Today seems like it's going to be an absolutely beautiful day in the mountains. It's been really rainy lately and haily. Just really intense weather and I woke up and it's not cloudy. It's sunny. It's warm. It feels like a good day to go outside and do things. Everything on the trail is so incredibly green and overgrown because there's been so much rain lately. It's absolutely beautiful. This trail overlooks the entire valley and this has been a wonderful way to start my morning. Not super sure why I wore a sweater on a hike. It got really hot really fast. It got kind of cloudy all of a sudden. It looked like it was gonna rain, so I ended my walk. Now I'm kind of hungry. Usually I'll try to make my own food, but I think today I'm feeling pizza. There's a little town at the top of the mountain. I don't know if it's really a town, but it has a store and a restaurant and a little pizza place and I just worked up a sweat I think that's gonna be my lunch if this video was really really accurate it would show me sitting in this parking lot for like an hour scrolling on my phone because I get good service here and pretty much nowhere else but instead we're gonna skip to pizza and the tall grass is When we first got here, it was really packed, so we turned around. I thought, oh, let's go to the general store first. Is it open? Yeah, the general yeah, stores. Yeah, we got fudge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to lie and pretend that I've been productive or even just prancing around the mountains, enjoying the forest. I got back and I took a nap. It was super rainy, it was cloudy, my bed looked really comfy, and I just had to. The sun did come back out, so I just put out my solar panels, and, and I don't have any plans now. I pretty much did everything I have to do, which is um, eat and go to the bathroom, and that's the best thing about mountain life. It's very slow, it's very simple, it's kind of isolating, but it's good for in here. It's good rest. And do you see? Oh yeah. Power. As an attempt to get out of bed before the day ends and the sun sets and I'm locked up in here, I'm going to 
take a little walk again, do some journaling, bring my solar panels in, and then maybe make dinner. So I've been practicing my Japanese. Don't mind my handwriting. For those of you who don't know, I used to live in Japan for like three and a half years. I was never fluent in Japanese, but I could speak it. I could talk to people, I could order food, and I haven't lived there in a really long time. So I've forgotten most of it, but every time I see Japanese writing, I can still read it, and I really like that. <laughs> so every, I don't know, few months or so, I just write the alphabet over and over, hiragana, katakana, and just make sure that I can still write the symbols because it was a pain in the ass to learn Japanese. And so since I know it, I never want to forget it. So words, like speaking, fine. I'm okay relearning that, but relearning the alphabet, I don't want to do. So practice writing it and also gives me something to do. It trains my brain. I get to enjoy this beautiful weather. And hi, Stevie. A big red pain in the ass. It was really hot earlier. Now it feels kind of sticky, it feels humid. I think it's about to rain, so I did everything that I needed to do outdoors just in time. Crazy mountain weather. Well, it's getting chilly and also it's definitely about to rain. So closing up shop thus brings the end to an average day living in the mountains in my van. Basically just prancing around, eating snacks, hanging out, laying in bed, napping. Not much different than my normal life, but I mean, what a beautiful setting. <sighs> I've definitely had some moments of stress lately with the van, with life, and it feels really good to get to be, I don't know, just somewhere so pretty and relaxing. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't owe anyone anything. I can just exist. I don't pay rent. It's been really nice. Now, would y'all like to see what I cooked for dinner? Fresh out of the oven. <laughs> a gigantic chocolate chip cookie. I already know a lot of people think that I eat like complete caca because I went to McDonald's like two times in a video. I mean, I don't think that I eat the healthiest diet, but I definitely don't just eat fast food all the time. I like strawberries hummus, yogurt, non-dairy yogurt. I eat a lot of stuff like that. Today, probably doing this because I'm just tired. I don't want to cook. I don't want to clean up dishes. Ramen it is. So it like poured for 30 minutes. No, I mean, not 30 minutes. It poured for 30 seconds and then just completely stopped. No more rain. And it got really dark and I thought it was around seven. 
It's like five o'clock. Why am I so tired? I'm ready to go to bed. These ever-changing weather patterns are really playing with my circadian rhythm. It's sunny, it's dark, it's sunny, it's dark. Um, it's not good. Well, it may be 5.30 right now, but to y'all, to y'all it's gonna be 7.30. So just pretend that it's 7.30. This is the end of the video and I'm about to go to bed. You know what sucks about being off grid in the mountains? Besides the fact that I never have service, trash cans are far away. So I'm gonna have to sit in here smelling that because I didn't eat it. <laughs> but you know what? I got a giant chocolate chip cookie. <sighs> At least I have some dinner. Okay, guys, time to say goodnight. Goodnight. Oyasumi nasai. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Huh? Hey, old chap. He trying to lure me. He trying to lure me somewhere. Where are we going? Where are we going? Wait, I can't fly. No, nah, he got the ops with him. Oh my God, they're really coming for me.